Crypto here, man. Bring you guys another episode of the Crypto Millionaire Journey. And man, what it's been like these last what two months? Uh, if you've been watching the market at all, which I hope you have been, because uh, Bitcoin came back to its all-time high close, got up to that nineteen thousand. We were thinking we were gonna push to twenty k. Um, had a big drop off. Luckily, this time around. I was actually to sell, I would say, a decent size of profits. was hoping that I was going to be able to sell a, bit, a little bit more. I had a feeling that during that rise that we had, uh, it was going to drop off. But it only dropped off to about, what was it, like 16K, some change. A uh, lot of speculation going on that uh, if it's not able to hold the stronghold, in the 18,000 range, people think that it might go back to 14, yada, yada, yada. Um, but as far as the market overall, I mean, it's not just Bitcoin that had, you know, a nice run. Uh, we got a lot of coins that had some nice runs. And the market cap overall right now currently at $545 billion. And um, S been having a good run. Believe it or not, Ripple's actually had a good run. I think Ripple was over 100% uh, for the month, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Link, of course, has been doing this thing. Cardano. Cardano's been one that's been really, really pushing these last uh, last couple of months, man. It's it's had some very nice runs. Uh, I think the highest it got was about, what, 18 cents? If I'm not mistaken, 17 cents, somewhere around that range. Um, currently right now I have what, 16 cents, uh, Litecoin's back, uh, oh, what, got up to what, about eight bucks, Stellar, Stellar's been having to run, I think Stellar was at like a quarter, um, if I'm not mistaken, Stellar was, Stellar was rising, um, yeah, Stellar got up to about, where it's at right now, 20%, it's been, it's been up and down, man. That nineteen twenty, at least for the last month or so. But you know that that thing took off. We're talking about something that was at eight cents, nine cents, and then booyah! Hello, twenty one cents, twenty two cents. I think it was the high. Um, and some of these highs that we have seen, uh, good points to potentially take those profits out of course we go back up to that number um those of you that have been re rebuying the dips because there has been some dips um tron hello tron's at three cents um trying to think adam's been doing pretty well neo neo solid man neo still doing solid dash has been surprising dash is uh that is over a hundred dollars again highest it got to is about 112 currently at 107 um, uh, but yeah, man, as far as like the top 50 coins, there's been some movement and it's been obviously nice to see, of course, being a trade and investor on multiple exchanges, uh, it's been really nice. Um, here we are in what, late November going into December, feeling that uh, was it the repeat of you know that 2017 2018? I feel like December's got a run in it. Uh, there's gonna be a run in December, don't know when it may start, but very curious to uh see how crypto ends the year, especially Bitcoin itself. Do we go to a new all time high? Do we get close to it? Um, I think F, F is another one that people are keeping their eyes out for. Uh, I know F 2.0 um, has been getting a lot of a lot of attention. Um, there's some that are hoping that you know F goes back to a thousand. Uh, so that'd be a good thing to see. But 
I would say from a making money perspective, uh, man, it's been, if you've been trading or investing in the crypto market the last, uh, ever since I, I would say the beginning of October, you've made some huge, if not huge gains, but you made a lot of money, uh, depending on, you know, obviously your capital, uh, the amount you're trading with, investing with, uh, I can say from a personal experience that, man, uh, I've made over a couple grand easily, easily. And, um, we're hoping going forward in the next couple of months, uh, that couple of grand turns into like grand, like we're talking about tens of thousands and that bigger number. But, um, I gotta say, man, personally, um, uh, see the growth of uh, just getting better at investing and trading it's been very very not only one exciting but very helpful on making the right plays and being able to copycat those plays replicate them again do them again and just continue to get that profit um but as far as just not just the crypto market, but guess what, y'all? Your boy's been diving in the stock market as well. Uh, been using the Robinhood app. Robinhood has been pretty fun experience. Uh, really easy to use. Of course, they do have crypto on there. And that's one of the reasons why uh, I actually trade on exchange. Another reason why also, too, uh, the whole commission free, man. So we're talking about exchange that's commission free, meaning all your profits that you're making, you're going to get all those profits. And those of you that have checked out my channel or have listened to previous episodes, uh, that no commission zone, man, that's, that's something that's huge, big time. Uh, but, you know, I've taken Robin Hood and using it as a small train account. I'm actually growing it um, right now, currently at about $646. Uh, started really putting the time into this bad boy, I would say probably October. I want to say it was October. Um, current portfolio right now, we got, you know, uh, some, of course, we got the Bitcoin in there, got ETH in there. Uh, we got some Tesla, some Netflix, some Amazon, some Beyond Meat, Fisker, and I got that free, uh, I got a free AMC share. Um, oh, by the way, a little announcement for y'all, uh, for those of you that might be new to Robinhood or never traded on Robinhood. Uh, so from now until basically the end of the year, if you guys invite three friends, you guys are going to get a free fourth bonus stock um i'll leave my link down below in case you guys want to download it and uh get yourself a free stock because i get a free stock you get a free stock um again you got until december 31st 2020 to invite three friends um and everybody will get a free fourth bonus stock um the bonus stock that i got was amc um Obviously, I'm not sure what's going to happen to AMC in the future with this whole pandemic. But hey, I mean, Robinhood, obviously, I'm not a big, big fan of the stocks just for the fact that, you know, it's kind of a more of a slow grind, um, being that it is only open Monday through Friday. Uh, so you're only really able to make those moves during that week. But as far as the whole percentages and rising and actually growing this bad boy it's been it's been pretty fun uh tesla has been one of those stocks that when they had their stock split and that bad boy was what like in the 400 dollars range uh took advantage um actually bought you know i didn't buy an entire share just bought some um but i bought it at you know 409 dollars now that's uh you know, the closed market price was at 584. We're looking at a 42% gain total return on that bad boy so far on that uh on that investment. And um actually what's kind of cool about it 
is it gives you an idea of when you bought, when you sold. Um, so I bought that back in October 29th, so almost a month, uh, a month's worth of holding. We're looking at almost 50% return, man, uh, within a month. Actually, not 50%, excuse me, 42% return within a month um i would say that's not too shabby obviously if i had more money i would throw more money in but uh we all know what's what tesla's all about we all know that tesla probably will get back to that uh what was it wasn't tesla like a thousand dollars per share i'm not for sure I'm not, if i'm not mistaken if i remember that correctly uh, i think a lot of people are waiting on that so i'm actually looking to make another move as far as getting some more um shares of tesla before we actually get back to that uh a thousand dollar range because i mean it, it's coming it, it's it's coming um another one uh netflix has been yeah it's been kind of sitting uh, range has been sitting at anywhere from like about 480 all the way up to the high about 490. Uh, the previous high that we're looking for to possibly sell off at is that 575 range. Um, I actually bought some at 488. Thinking about getting some more in this range before we go ahead and shoot back up. Um, now that one return wise, it's been kind of whack. Uh, like I said, it hasn't had too much movement. Of course, when I entered, I only entered in back was this was uh, this is back in October twenty third. So been a month. Uh, hasn't done much, but definitely considering going ahead and getting some more at this current price. Uh, again, like I said, we're we're <laughs> we're positioning ourselves for that day where we get to five seventy five or even five fifty and above. Uh definitely probably be a good selling point to go ahead and take some profits out now definitely got some amazon um if you don't have any amazon in your portfolio I mean, it's kind of a bad move man amazon you know amazon's been pretty stagnant um i do remember at a time when amazon was like 1800 2000 then shot up to about 3000 range so i know what amazon brings to the table Turn wise again, been stagnant, man. It's been stuck in this 31, 3000 range, hasn't really moved. Uh, I would say for at least a while. Um, you know, even if you, even if you look at the past, look at the past three months, still down about six percent. So at 34, 34 range, uh, didn't really get to. They didn't quite make it to the 35, but it got close to it range. I'm looking to, you know, maybe take some profits out, of course, if I'm able to get some more shares at these price points before it goes back up. But again, man, I mean, you go back to like that May, April, May, June mark, uh, even far as back as March. Um, like I said, it was sitting in, it was under 2000, uh, 2000 range and then just shot up. Um, so definitely going to try to add more to that. And then, ooh, Beyond Meat, man. Uh, went ahead and got me some Beyond Meat. Not too many shares, obviously not a full share, but it's a little some, some, man. Uh, bought in at around the $125 range when it had that huge collapse after the whole, what was it, McDonald's announced that McPlant burger, where the hell they are about to be making. Um... Side, hey, you know, this opportunity, man. Beyond Meat's down really, uh, really, really low. Um, at least for the time being, because if you look here at the last, uh, look at here, the th last three months, it's been doing well, man. Um, like I said, the high that it was at was close to $200. Um, definitely that's a price point. We're looking to go ahead and take some profit out. Um, because again, it's, it's still down, um, for the month. Uh, it's about it's down about nine percent. Um, currently right now one forty two. Um, but definitely 
see this as a beneficial uh, share to the portfolio as far as when I buy the deal, I only bought it about, you know, back in November 11th. So it's freshly, freshly new added to the portfolio. Fisker, Fisker is another, another play, another stock that I ate, man. I'm hoping this bad boy is going to be the next Tesla or somewhere near that, uh, that volume or, because I've read a couple things about them. I see the vision, what they're trying to do. Obviously, they are trying to be like that next Tesla, but uh, was it? able to get in at 15 bucks uh currently right now it's almost at 21 dollars which is it's a uh, it's 52 week high was 23 so this thing has been it's been moving um last three months oh my god if you're able to get in there but even look look at the past month man past month was at nine dollars eleven dollars uh I was hoping I can get it at that range, like twelve dollars, thirteen dollars range. But then once I seen it was just consistent going up with no signs of going back down. Decided to go ahead and give me some shares. Got me uh got me three shares of Fisker. Definitely thinking about selling some profit off uh come Monday when the markets open back up. But as far as return goes, man, we're looking at thirty six percent so far. 36% and this one is uh not even a month old so we're not even looking at a month hold and we're already at uh 36% so as far as returns go on the stock stocks looking good as far as the portfolio goes man Robin Hood um again this is just me basically widening my range of arsenal when it comes to trading platforms uh, right now, I'm actually be trading on what about four, five uh, different trading platforms. Um, constantly looking for ways to earn some money, get some profits. Uh, of course, when it comes to my Bitcoin position on Robinhood, you know that return is looking at plus twenty nine. Um, and then with F, we had a plus thirty three. So again, definitely curious to see, you know. What is Bitcoin and F's price going to do uh, this next, what, week or so? Um, you know, will we get back to that 19K? Or are we going to get back to that 19K and then go ahead and pass it? Uh, but, man, this is one thing I would say that's really been beneficial man as far as this whole learning researching and re and really being able to not one just only manage your money but really make your money grow in a series of ways uh rather be stocks crypto you know trading earning interest uh that's another thing my robin hood you know robin hood you I remember you get your debit card you got a debit card with this bad boy got a debit card and you're going to be earning interest as well uh so i think for me i could easily see this platform i would say consistently making me some easy gains man and reason why i say this you look at my data for Again, this is like I said, my my trading account is under a thousand right now, so I would say take that with a grain of salt and really really consume that in because I already told myself and I could see through the data and analytics and all that that I have a nice chunk of change, nice little uh, capital that's on this platform, I'm able to really you know, play with, maybe not necessarily daily, it could be weekly, it could be monthly, obviously, it depends on the market, but if you go look at the last month, last month on here, uh, been able to accumulate almost about 25%, uh, in the last three months, you know, we're at 26%, almost closer to that 27%, so, you know, you look at the last month, we're talking about 24% on your money, I mean, 
Now we're like, okay, now it's like, well, imagine if I did have, just throw out a number, 10 racks out there. So imagine having 10 racks just in there. Imagine just, let's just say you weren't actively trading and investing like how I am. Let's just say you had 10 in there and you just never touched it, right? But, you know, past month you've, been, you've earned 24%. 24%. It's 2400 buddy. 2400 where you didn't have to necessarily actively work for it. If that makes sense. These passive incomes, man. These These passive incomes have been something that has been really really a main focus of mine uh obviously i'm busy with my nine to five i don't enjoy it but it's really taking me and giving me places to really eventually hopefully in the near future get rid of that stick with trading youtube basically doing whatever i want um but again when you see stats like this gives you that confidence boost man like you can really do this because a lot of people when i talk to them about trading or investing it's such a uh what's the right word i'm looking for the response that i get it's very scary like a lot of people think like oh this that and the other there's so much speculation not really knowing what's about prime example i've talked to a couple of my coworkers about it and then just like Oh, I don't have time, or it seems very hard. And it's like, I'm thinking to myself, there's a lot of stuff that's hard. But, you know, if you are if you want to do it, you're going to do it regardless. I mean, it would be the hardest thing in the world, but you're going to try to practice that, get better at it. And as you get better at it, the more confident you get. Because that's all it is, man. Like, <clears throat> one, it's, yes, it's a risk. Tell us tell us to everybody. Trading, investing, it's, it's a risk, man. But the risk that comes with it, the rewards, man, the rewards are, I feel like, are not just endless, but you're talking about something, a machine that is going to be constantly making money. And you don't really have to do necessarily anything for it, man. Like, Compared to working at, you know, nine to five where you have to actively work for all that money. It's like, really, nobody wants to do that all the time. At least personally, not me. But to learn a tool, a trade where you could possibly be getting 25, 30% on your money. Like, I'm just talking percentages, man. Like, you know, I wasn't the greatest at math, but when it came to statistics, uh, that's something I really picked up well, but. Again, a lot of people are like, oh, man, you must have a lot of money. And I don't got a lot of money, but shit. My money's starting to really make more money. My money's working. That's the one thing I can say about my money is my money works every day. My money is either earning. My money's doing something. Like, it's it's never sleeping. It's doing something. It's constantly going up, down. It, it, it's doing something. And for me, someone that pretty much had to, you know, start with the low amounts, man. I'm talking about like $100 per trade, 50 bucks per trade. Like I'm talking about small amounts. Slowly, gradually built that up to 250 500 sometimes 1000 per trade. But it's like the ultimate goal is to really have it or minimum. Everything I'm trading is $1,000. Why? Because, again, the percentages. We're making anywhere from two to eight percent on uh, per trade on thousand, man. I mean, you do the math, man. A couple of those within a day, you're looking at close to five hundred to a thousand dollars. And then, with all the different exchange features that they have, the referrals, affiliates, and all that, you know, that's that's extra income as well. But I gotta say, man. For this to be almost my, what, third year, I would say, being in the market, trading, all that stuff, came a long way. Came a long way. Uh, for those that don't think they can do it, man, you can do it. Just got to put the time in.
Gotta find that time. It's it's tough, man. Find time. Um, really kind of putting yourself in this like trading zone where it's like, man, how much can we earn today? Like that's something that sometimes I'm I tell myself as I'm trading, investing. You know, how much can we get back today? You know, what's what's our return? What's our ROI looking like? Another thing is, you know, taking those profits out. No matter, you know, if it's five bucks, ten bucks, like, bro, profit is profit. And what I like about that is when we have these big dips, all that profit that you already sold, guess what you can do? You can reinvest it, go ahead and compound that. I mean, like, uh, part of me wishes I had this knowledge back in high school. Because if I did, I'll tell you this right now, I'll be a millionaire right now. Like, just easily. Because, you know, I was selling candy in high school, doing all type of trades in high school. So, if I would have knew about the market and how to kind of set up your account. Oh, man, you best believe I would have been, I would have been a Jordan Belfort, Jordan Belfort in high school. Like, I don't want to say it's easy, but, man, the more comfortable you get, the more easier it gets. At this point right now, the only thing I'm missing right now is just more capital. But we're getting there. It's just a grind. But the grind of being able to, I would say this, put this in perspective. Ever since learning this trade tool, I'm able to, one, be buying some property pretty soon, thanks to crypto and trading and all that good stuff, obviously. But what else is created a lot of different money branches. Create a lot of different ways of how I can get money, earn money passively. Not always actively, but but passively. Do this, do this. We're going forward, man. We got one month left of 2020. You know, it's been... Probably the, easily the worst years of, at least I've been a part of. It's probably top five in American history, but the market, man. To end December, I can only imagine if Bitcoin gets past this all time high. I can only imagine. And also, too, uh, going for is do some of these coins get back to their close all time high cause man mm -hmm. there's some coins out there that have been sleep dormant gotta make sure you're constantly <laughs> constantly watching the projects that you're involved in you might have to do a little switchy here a little switchy there switch over there Cause you know with crypto man's volatile. Talking about that shit don't that's that's something that I don't, don't really sleep. And how volatile it is, but man, playing the volatile market like that, being able to catch those waves again, it's a great feeling. Um, but Lee, that's gonna wrap it up at least for this episode, man. Funny how I had this feeling that you know the market would actually turn around the winter time. Um, projected it a little bit, but going forward, man. Those of you that might be listening, that are a little hesitant to uh, jump in any market, it could be stocks or crypto. Uh, I'll say this, man. It takes money to make money. And scare money don't make no money. So, even if it's like a small trade account, man, I'm talking about you can start with a hundred dollars, hundred dollars, build that bad boy up, see if you can get your initial investment back, take it out, and then play with the house money. You know, that's something I've done uh, where I would put initial investment in, um, and then I would trade my way to get my initial investment back, and then take that initial investment back out, and then now it's like, well, sheesh. If I lose here, did I really lose? Like, that's the mindset. Like, did I really lose? Because, like, bro, this is money I already had made and earned from initial investment. So, 
there's times like that, but man, uh, appreciate you guys listening to the cast, tuning in. Um, definitely got a lot of things coming up for you guys. Uh, it's been a freaking wild ride these last two months, not just with work, but the market pandemic I'm starting to add, uh, actually add another crypto card to the, to, to the wallet. Um, you know, cash back has been something that cash back has been probably another priority that's been on between cash back and finding coins where you can stake and earn and just interest just everything about those sectors that's been main concern main focus and i got some some projects that are doing the thing man and i get to see money grow over different platforms uh, i know people that have been watching my channel you know they're they're making money as well that's what's cool like everybody everybody follows pays attention do their due diligence you know they're, they're, they're making some money man like it's not it's not like i'm out here just talking to be talking like i'm out here giving folks ways to earn money in different ways that they probably never thought they could so that's always good but um we'll go ahead and get on out of here um till the next episode this is your boy the wolf of crypto you guys been listening to the crypto millionaire journey Y'all remember, trading, investing, it's a risk. Never risk what you're lo- willing to lose. And until then, Wolf of Crypto is signing off. Peace, y'all.